Yo, what's up guys? I'm back here with another video again. Um, this time it's gonna be a very different video from what I usually do. It's more it's gonna be more of so like a sit down talk video where we talk about matchups. Um well obviously season 13 matchups because a, a lot of new junglers popped up, like season 12, season 13, a lot of junglers that weren't really junglers back then that now became meta junglers, like Wukong, um, Diana, Talon. You know the new jungle matchups so obviously that's what we're titling the season 13 kane matchups so yeah let's get right into it i'm gonna go over this video in like three categories hard medium and easy so in the impossible tier we're gonna be having graves elise kindred and rexai we're gonna go over each matchup one by one and there's gonna be text on the screen explaining how to beat the matchup when you spike against the matchup and what to generally generally do against it in the early game so let's go on the impossible tier list for the impossible it's graves obviously like i said graves is a really hard matchup for kane usually it's not as bad as the other three on this tier against graves you have areas that you can kind of outplay especially if you go red kane i think blue kane is you should only go blue kane against graves if you're really fed but i think in this like matchup you should uh, most of the time be going red unless the whole enemy team squishy then obviously you go blue and you can just focus their backland great the reason why blue is not as efficient into graves is because it's east that gives them a lot of armor and most of the time these graves players are going either shield bull gore drinker and it's a lot harder for kane to burst down a bruiser graves with um gore drinker cleaver and death ends or whatever he may build but red kane can shred uh tank graves pretty easily especially if they go um the bruiser build because obviously red king does percent health damage but yeah i think if the graves you obviously go the red king but uh on the screen he'll have the reasoning to why and what you need to do with this matchup to beat it and yeah all right let's move on to the elise matchup so the elise matchup is a lot harder than graves i think that in this matchup you can actually this matchup is is harder but in this matchup you're, it's a little more flexible you can actually go blue into elise if you get really fed against her and her team squishy or you can go red into elise as well both ma both forms are really efficient to elise the only way elise really beats kane is if she's able to get the early level three ganks off so in this scenario you would need to make sure you track her early in make sure you see where she starts most of the time elise will only do three camps so she'll do either blue gromp into red or she can do red raptors gromp into a gank so keep that in mind and make sure you're looking at where she starts and tracking her most mostly to beat this matchup you need to just be able to track her efficiently early in um she's not really a threat at all later on into the game though especially if you're um red cane uh, she can't really burst you ever and if you're blue cane you can just one shot her if you can time your combo properly with her repel so for the next matchup in this tier list it's kindred kindred is a little bit kind of like elise um i don't really recommend red against uh kindred though because late game she can kite you super hard she can dodge with w very easily um obviously again all these matchups are going to be also team dependent so you gotta have to keep that in mind as well but generally you probably want to go blue into kindred because you can burst it down pretty easily and you can pretty much combo her and get her down to really low make her use ult and then you can ult her before she her ult finishes and you can one shot her in this matchup kindred is also like another elise she will do a three camp into an invade she'll be more aggressive than elise though she will actually look to invade you so she can do like a red into straight up blue blue gromp invade on you or she can do a red blue gromp into an invade on your red if you start at the blue side um so just keep that in mind track where she starts um what i would recommend is that in this matchup is try to get an early ward in their jungle and that should be very helpful for you to know where she's gonna be pathing to um but keep keep it in the back of your head that a kindred is an early invade champion she will look to try to get her lead any way she can and last but not least definitely not least or this section i guess um rexai so rexai is pretty much just like kindred and elise but he's more so that he's not really gonna invade you he's gonna just pretty much gank your bot lane and he has a lot of angles to gank he has really good angles with his ease so you gotta keep that again in mind and just be able to track him early and see where he starts i would what form i would recommend for this matchup would be red red cane i think red cane is really efficient into rexai especially later on into the game your w is really good when he ults you can w him as soon as he pops out and you just kill him burst him down with your team you can also peel your backline pretty easily you can go blue cane if you're really fed 
but I don't really recommend it because he can burst you down super easily compared to you and him, unless you combo you combo properly. Both forms are very efficient if you have a lead, but I think red would probably be the best, especially mid to late. All right, so now we're moving on to a hard. This is these matchups are matchups that are not impossible. You can beat them. Um, they're obviously very hard, like the name says. They're really hard for you to beat, but there is possibilities of beating them. They're not as impossible, and they're not as strong early as their other two, uh, other four. All right, so it's Udir. Udir is a very hard matchup for Kane if he gets a hurt ahead early game. So if the Udir does like a three camp clear and he invades your whatever opposite side you're on, then the game your game's over. He will just snowball super hard from there. He's really tanky, so I honestly just recommend going red king this matchup 100% of the time. I think blue king is pretty useless unless his entire team is squishy. You can just burst them all. You can ignore him, and you have someone that can deal with him. Then blue is fine. But red king will generally be the best against this matchup, obviously with conquer. And yeah, a little more details here on, on screen in the text. The next one, Master Yi. Master Yi is a very tricky matchup. He can pretty much counter both of your forms because he builds a really annoying build like he goes death ends and stuff so Blue King can't really burst him especially with his W and the damage reduction that he has and Red King he can just Q your W on Red King and pretty much just shred you and one shot you you don't have enough damage to kill him so in this matchup it's one of the rare matches where you can you can actually beat him early game since he clears a lot slower than you and you have a faster clear you have better gank angles with your E better gank setup with your W you can actually look to find a lead against the team early if you're able to play the map properly. But yeah, Red King would probably be the best for this matchup. If you can hold your W in team fights and just W him, knock him up, that'll be pretty annoying for him and he'll just get bursted down pretty easily. So it's actually one of those rare matchups that you can actually beat early if you play it properly. Alright, for the next matchup, it's Rengar. I would have put this matchup in the impossible list, but the more I played against it recently, I've been finding success into it. Um, the only way he really beats you super hard is if he invades you early game. If you're able, if you're a good jungle tracker and you can track the enemy jungler really easily and avoid the invade by doing certain type of clear paths that you can take against Rengar, then I, th I feel like the matchup's not that bad. I think Red Kane is really good into it. Blue Kane can be good into it as well if you're really fat. You can burst him down. It's more of a skill match for Blue Kane. I think Red Kane just has an advantage mid to late. And it's really annoying for Rengar to deal with you mid to late because you're really tanky and you peel the back line pretty easily. Alright, and for the fourth matchup on this uh, list is Wukong. Wukong is honestly a weird matchup. I personally never find any problem versing a Wukong as Red Kane. Um, I always find it really easy. I farm way faster than him. I'm typically usually up like 60, 50 CS on him. So I have a lot of item advantage on him and I'm, really, I'm a lot stronger than him. I've played against a lot of uh, Elos 2 versus Wukong. I've never really found any problems. But um, apparently Wukong has a higher win rate against Kane. So obviously it's probably because of the early game and the ultimate. Um, Wukong's ultimate can be really annoying in team fights, Especially since he, if he knocks you up and you get bursted down by the enemy team. You're unable to ult. And it makes it really hard for you to play team fights. So I would, what I would recommend in this matchup is obviously going Red Kane. Um, Blue King doesn't really do much into Wukong. You can kind of kite him out with your E and stuff and just go for his team, but Red King is probably the most solid pick into it. And last on this hard list is Nidalee. Um, Nidalee is not really a good champ right now. I think she requires a lot of skill. So in lower Elo, you're not really ever going to see a Nidalee that's good enough to make have any problem for Kane. But in higher Elo, Nidalee, Nidalee's tempo, um, her early game is really strong. And she just has a lot more tempo than Kane. She, she can impact each lane a lot faster than Kane can. And that makes it hard for Kane to keep up. I think in this in this matchup, you can either go go whatever form you feel better. Whatever form you feel more comfortable with. Um, I think Red Kane's really good into it because she can't burst you down. But Blue Kane is also great because you can just burst her down. So it just depends on how the team comps are looking. For the next list is the team look list. This list is more of a how your team performs against these champions because they gank a lot early they're really annoying with the exception of one on this list so for the first is ivern ivern is a very annoying champ for kane in the early games because his shield plus his presence is really annoying 
sometimes King can't really keep up. You're going to have to sack some camps and just do maybe like a three or four camp clear and look to counter gank and gank early just to make sure that Ivern doesn't get rolling and get his team going. Um, Ivern is generally not really a problem for Kane though. In a 1v1, you can always kill him, blue or red. Both forms are great into Ivern. So it's just pretty much dependent on how your team does with his ganks, just tracking him and making sure that you're counter ganking his ganks. Um, and number two on the list is Nunu, a very easy and unskilled champ that um, requires pretty much not no farm and it's really hard to deal with early. He just can pretty much do one camp and invade and not invade, he can do one camp and gank which is very annoying and it usually works in lower elo. In higher elo, it, it's not really a, that much of a threat. Like his level two gank, it's not that much of a threat because people expect it coming. So people play accordingly. But I think in lower elo, he can do like a one camp into a gank, cheese, cheese his way into a lead. He can do a blue gromp, red, or red raptor scromp into a gank. And Kane can't really keep up. Red Kane is really, really good into Nunu though, mid to late, if he hasn't gotten his team a lead early. You can pretty much deal with him pretty easily. That's why it's just I put it on the team look. I don't honestly think he's that hard of a matchup. I just think he's hard for your, your team because you're Kane. And for third on the list, Malka. He just recently became a good jungler. Before, he was more of a support top laner. Malka is a very, like... Very similar to Nunu. He can't really gank right after his first camp, but he does look to gank early game. So some Maokai's look full clear into ganks. Some Maokai's do three camps. Some do four to five. It just depends. Just obviously like the last few matchups in this list, you're just looking to counter gank these champions and make sure you're tracking them and staying on top of them so they don't get their team lead. Because Red King does not have a problem in any of these three matchups. I think they're really easy for Red King. They can't really also burst or deal with Red King either. So as long as you're controlling the early game, you should be fine to these three. Now we're moving on into the... It's in the same team like list, but these three are more farming junglers, but they're um, very strong assassins that Kane struggles with. Um, Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix is a very annoying matchup for Kane. I think that... Um, since his isolated Q does a lot of damage, you can't really ever 1v1 him. Um, the only way you can really beat a Kha'Zix is if you get ahead early. You have a faster clear, which is a pro against Kha'Zix. Your clear is a lot faster, so you're able to get on the map a lot quicker and impact the lanes before he can. But, like I said, it's team luck. Kha'Zix usually get fed. The enemy, the, especially in lower elos, the enemy team always just feeds the Kha'Zix early. And if he get, does get that lead rolling, he does outscale you. So it's a bit of annoying for Kane. And next up is Evelyn. Um, Evelyn's another one of those matches where you can actually beat early game if you're on top of her, knowing what she is, making sure she doesn't get her full clear off. You can pretty much invade her really easily. You win the 1v1 with Conquer pretty hard. Um, both blue and red are good into Evelyn. I think blue is a little bit harder because she can dodge your combo with her ult and then burst you. Um, Reckon is really hard for her to deal with. Later on into the game though, she can burst you down and she does outscale you really hard. Even as Red King, she does a lot of damage, especially with her charm. Can be really annoying. I recommend getting the QSS and looking to pressure her early game. And last but not least on this on this um list is Echo. Echo is a very annoying matchup. It's also a team luck matchup. Um, Red King is really good into Echo though. It's kind of hard for him to burst you even in the later game if he hasn't gotten a huge lead on your team. So again, in this list, just pretty much tracking these junglers and counter ganking them. Making sure they don't snowball too hard. Alright, now we're moving on into like the more average, easier matchups. I know a lot of these may shock you, but I honestly think these are just average matchups. They're not too hard and you, out you outscale them super hard. Um, Alright, so Diana. Diana is a, a very similar Kane, similar champion to Kane. Um, she does like a full clear, pretty much does the same thing Kane does, full clear into Scuttle, into Gank. So Kane doesn't really have any struggle with Diana. I think Blue Kane is very bad into Diana because unless she's going full Assassin, she, you won't ever really burst her down. Um, Red Kane is amazing into Diana. She can't ever deal with Red Kane. Even into the later games, Red Kane is super annoying for Diana. She can't ever burst them. So she'll be looking to go on your team as long as you're able to keep her W on her, making sure she can't engage. And you can pretty much cancel her dash with your W as well. So I think these are very average matchup. It just depends on who has the better ganks, who clears the more efficiently. 
think it's just average. She can snowball against you and build a lead and carry the game. But like I said, it's just an average matchup. So I don't find it hard at all. Um, Silas is another average matchup. If he doesn't get uh, the three camp gank er done early game, he pretty much falls off. He can't out clear you. He doesn't really outscale you. Red Kane is amazing into, into Silas. You can also pull off Blue Kane into Silas if you're ahead. With your obviously your farm lead, you're usually typically gonna have like a 50 to like 60 CS lead on Silas. Since he can't really clear fast enough, especially in the lower elos, people can't really execute Silas properly. He's a like three camp into cheese gank, and if it doesn't work, he's useless. Um, all right, moving on. Talon. Um, I know Talon may shock you. I could have put him on the team luck or hard, honestly. But I don't really see too much of a problem versus Talon. Like, you clear faster than him. I mean, you guys pretty much clear the same, but when you get items, I feel like you clear a lot faster. Um, you outscale him super hard. You can pretty much match his ganks early, too. If you're E, you have really good gank angles versus him. You can peel with your W. The only way Talon can really snowball against Kane is if he takes Ignite and it invades you early game. But if you're good at um, pathing and tracking, you should be fine. I don't think he can actually kill you. Um, Shaco is another matchup just like Talon. Pretty much the same thing. 3 camp into gank, if it fails, they're worthless, if it doesn't, they snowball. Um, typically, if you're good at tracking, you keep track of where the Shaco is, counter a gank him, or just warn your team, if, if it doesn't work early, he just becomes useless. Another champion that you'll be up like 50 to 60 CS mid to late. Um, Alright, moving on into more farm heavy junglers, like um, still in the average list, the Lilia. Lilia is pretty much like Kane and Diana similar she's actually a bit harder than diana because her movement speed is super annoying for, for red king to hit w on and she builds kind of tanky so blue king can't really burst her unless you have a huge lead early um i don't think that um lilia is because not team luck or hard either because she also her early game is also super weak so she can't really invade you either so it just depends on how you track her and where, where you guys um end up so if she like starts top side and you start bot side i don't think she'll be able to do anything to you it's a very weird matchup I, I i've struggled versus it before but i don't actually think it's too hard either and it's not really played that often so i wouldn't consider her team like or hard all right moving on to hecarim same like lilia hecarim doesn't really scale as well like lilia does and he's not as annoying to kill later on um his early game is a lot better than yours but you can your E makes it so easy for you to gank, and you're, you guys pretty much farm at the same pace. Uh, I think you outscale Hecarim, that's why I put him in the average. Uh, as long as he doesn't really get ahead versus your team, and you're able to track him, he should be fine as well. Obviously, I'm gonna be having more in depth in the text on the screen, so make sure you guys take a look at that. Um, I, obviously, I'm going a little bit fast through these through these matchups because there's a lot of matchups, and the video would be like infinite. All right, for the next matchup, Fiddlesticks. Um, Fiddlesticks is really, it's not that hard for Kane. Um, in the early game, you can pretty much beat him. Uh, if you're able to track him properly and you can sneak some of his camps, he usually does, looks, looks to do a full clear, so he won't really impact the map as hard early, especially without his six. So that Kane can obviously shine in that and use his E, find good gank angles on Fiddle's team and just build a lead before he can even do anything. And as Red King, you can just track him in the mid to late game and W him when he casts ult, and you can knock him out of it. Fiddle is just a champion that you just keep vision on. If you always have vision of Fiddle, he won't ever be useful because he won't get the fear off when he ults. He'll just be pretty worthless. All right, another matchup in this list is Zach. Zach is pretty much just like um, I would have put him in team luck honestly because if he gets ahead. Um, he can be annoying, but even even if he gets ahead, I think Red King is just too good into Zack. You can peel him pretty easily. You can kill him pretty easily. He can't ever really want you, want you or kill you early. Your ganks are just as good as his. Um, it's just tracking, keeping keeping track of where he is. It's, just said most matchups are just tracking. To be honest, as, as Kane, only the impossible list is really hard for Kane. But everything else is it's not that hard, honestly. You ha there's counterplay to every matchup. Olaf is another early game jungler that just full clears. Um, he can be annoying. You can't really, you can't really ever fight him when you won. And if he counter against you, it can be very devastating. So look out for that. All right, now we're moving into more Kane favorite matchups. Some of these may shock you guys, and I know, I know a lot of you guys may think 
wow, I didn't really know that. Um, but these are matches that I've had a lot of experience versus. Obviously, this list is just my opinion. Um, a lot of people, other people can have different opinions, but I've I've played a lot of, against these matchups and I've never really found any like problems, with the exception of one of these one of these that I'll get to in a bit. Um, but let's start it off. Uh, Viego. Viego is obviously not not a hard matchup for Ken at all. A lot of people may think he's hard because he's stronger early and he can yank a lot more, but he clears just so much faster. Red King just um, destroys Viego pretty easily. Blue King is not... I don't recommend Blue into Viego at all, though. Blue is pretty bad into Viego. Um, he can just build, like, tanky items and you'll never kill him. But, yeah. Um, I think that Viego is super easy to snowball against, and even mid to late, you're fine as Red King. He can't really do anything. You can peel him off your team pretty easily. I also don't think he's in a good spot at all right now. Um, the next matchup is Lee. Really recently got a buff, and honestly, I think the buff made him made him okay. I don't honestly think he's that great still. I think Red King can deal pretty easily with Lee, and he falls up he falls off super hard. His clear is not as fast as yours at all. He can invade you early, but you're able to avoid that pretty easily. He shouldn't be able to kill you unless you run into his Q somehow. You have a lot of ways to dodge his Q, so I don't find him uh, uh, hard at all. And I think he's really easy for King. Unless Lee is like really good, especially in lower elos, Lee is never going to be executed properly. So he shouldn't ever really be a problem. Um, the next matchup is Zed. Zed is similar to like a talent, Shaco. If he gets kills early, he can snowball. He doesn't really outscale you unless he gets super fed. I think Red King can deal with Zed pretty easily. You have similar clear speed. Um, you have better gank angles. You have better gank setup. So I, th I just think it's honestly Kane favored unless he gets a lead, but it's a lot harder for Zed to get a lead than a Kane to get a lead. All right, and the next matchup, this is the, the exception that I said in this tier list. This matchup I've actually found um, pretty hard, but a lot of the stats say that Kane is just good into it. So I guess I'm gonna run with it. Um, I've also stomped him pretty hard too. That's like 50-50, I think. So the matchup is Karthus. So I think Karthus can be annoying because believe it or not, he does beat you early game. If you're not able to dodge his Qs, he can burst you down pretty easily before you can kill him. And if the Karthus takes exhaust, it makes it even more annoying for you to kill. In this matchup, I honestly recommend you go on Blue Kane. You're just bursting him down in team fights. Uh, Reckon is also not bad if you go Maw. I think Reckon is perfect as well. Um, I think Kane should, in theory, be able to find a lead faster and easier early game versus a Karthus because all he can really do is clear. And if people can dodge his Qs, he's not a threat at all early. Alright, next up is Zin Zhao. Um, honestly, he could have been put in the hard or impossible, but recently Zin isn't as good as he used to be. Zin's clear is way too slow compared to Kane's. Um, you can't 1v1 him early, but getting a lead against him is not hard since you clear a lot faster. You can just build up a huge CS lead even if he gets a couple kills. When you, as soon as you transform into Red King, he's pretty much irrelevant. He does nothing to you. And since you have such a huge farm lead, even if he gets kills, most of the time you'll you'll have a lead against them. This is mostly in lower elo. If Zen is coordinated, he coordinates invades with his support. Obviously, it can be considered impossible or hard, and it can be really really annoying. But we're more we're going more so off solo queue. Like in yeah, I don't people don't really coordinate that much in like diamond under. So honestly, don't find him hard at all. Same for this next matchup. Bye. Similar thing. She clears a lot slower than Kane. Um, Red Kane snowballs really hard against her. Even the early game, she can't really kill you 1v1, to be honest. I feel like you can 1v1 her if you play the 1v1 properly. So I don't see her as a threat at all. And last on this um, list is Belveth. Belveth is pretty much Kane favorite as well. Uh, her clear is not as fast. She has decent gank setup. Kane has better better um, clear, better, ganks, better gank angles. And Red Kane doesn't have any trouble with her unless she builds she has a lead obviously with her Kraken build she can burst you down pretty easily even as red king that's pretty much only if she builds a lead against you i've never really had any trouble with her all right moving on to like the easy um just way too easy and laughable are these these matchups are just matchups that are super easy um you hard out scale them even if they get a lead you just have huge cs lead against them um start off we're gonna go with Jarvan and Jarvan is a matchup where he's similar to Shaco um 
Talon and Rek'Sai Kindred. He needs to do a three camp into a early gank against Kane to build the lead. But the thing, the reason I put him so low compared to the other ones is because his mid to late is really bad. He pretty much does nothing at all, even if he gets kills. Red King stomps in super hard. He can literally be 0 and 1, and he can be like 2 and 1. And if you have a full item, to his full item, you most of the time just win hard. So, and your, your clear speed is way faster. And German ganks aren't really that that much of a threat anymore. A lot of champs have mobility, so I don't find him hard at all in season 13. I think he's just mediocre. You can just eat out of his ult. Pretty much doesn't have an ult versus you. Um, Alright, moving on. Talia. Talia is a bit annoying. The thing is, though, her clear speed is so slow, and her damage, unless she's really ahead, isn't really that that much. So you can pretty much just burst her down with blue. You can even go right into Talia, and she can't ever kill you. Your farm ladies would just be huge. The only thing she has really that she can semi do against Gain is gank, but I don't honestly think her ganks are that efficient. Um, the only way she shines is if she counter ganks you. Like if she hides in a bot bush and you ganking, you're ganking bot and she counter ganks and just triple kills you. And that's a very odd scenario. Lower elo is typically not going to happen. Higher elo is more common. Her E is pretty annoying because you can't dash through it. But I honestly don't find her hard at all. Alright, last in the easy tier list is Wally Bear. Wally Bear is just like um, Jarvan but worse. His early ganks aren't really threat his um clear is really slow compared to yours red cane has zero problem against him since he builds a lot of hp you're able to burst him down super easily um i recommend going right into this matchup blue is not not efficient at all into volley you could make it work since he can't really kill you but red will just guarantee you more wins all right moving down to the last two lists the piss easy and laughable so this this list we're gonna put we have um, Ramis. Ramis is an easy matchup for Kane, just like the other matchups. Too easy to farm against. Red Kane shreds him and deals with him pretty easily. Blue Kane is also unkillable versus him, and he, you can kill his team and ignore him. You might need QSS to avoid his taunt, but other than that, he shouldn't be a problem. Next thing on this list is Nocturne. Same for the last matchups. Uh, Noctis is even worse because honestly he needs to full clear and get to 6 before he can even impact the map at all. Early game should be fine against them, especially if he doesn't have his fear, he should be able to 1v1 him. Red King has zero problem against Nocturne. I've versed Nocturnes that were like 5-0 and and I was like 1-2 and two or 2-1 two and one, and I just literally 3v1 him as Red King. I had zero problem versus him, especially in the lower elos, people don't really make Nocturne work as good. Um, just watch out for level 6. Make sure you're tracking him early and counter ganking his level 6 ganks and you should be fine. Um, next up is Sejuani. Very easy matchup. You out skill. You out clear. You have really good ganks. You can counter gank. She will pretty much never do anything to Red King. She won't really do anything to Blue King either unless she lands her ult and it's really easy to dodge. Very simple and easy matchup early. Just make sure you keep track of her and just gank and counter gank her so she doesn't get her team a lead she's very she's very worthless versus kane though even if she gets kills next up the last two is trundle and shimana these two matchups are very easy trundle can be a little bit annoying if he ults you later on but um his ganks aren't that great same for shimana they're not that great he doesn't clear at all his clear is very slow and shimana has super fast clears but she has zero gank potential early just keep track of Shimana so she can't sneak dragons. And keep track of Trundle's early level 3 ganks. And it should be okay. Um, this tier here is just a laughable list. I'm just going to go over all four very easy. They're all pretty much the same. Um, Amumu, Warwick, Skarner, and Gragas. These matchups, um, Amumu, Gragas, and Skarner are clear pretty decent. Warwick has horrible clear. And if he doesn't get a lead early, he's worthless. Same for these champions, if they don't get their teams a lead early, uh, mid to late, Red King just stomps them, obliterates them. They have like zero chance against him. You can just get a QSS against Garner, he's worthless. Same for Warwick. Um, you can pretty much 1v1 these matchups very simply and easily. Amumu can only really um, stomp your team, but since you beat him so hard early and you build such a huge farm lead, 
the lead you have versus him is going to be super annoying to deal with for him. And you can just pretty much steal his camps and get around the map pretty easily with your E. Same for the last, the other three. So yeah, if I didn't cover a matchup in this list, let me know what you guys think. Let me know the matchup in the comments down below and I'll reply and help you guys out with the matchup explaining. Um, it, yeah, uh, I think that this video was a little bit short compared to what I thought it was going to be. Um, I kind of want to make more of an in-depth guide that I think I'm going to be doing on another website. It's called Mobile Fire. I should be having that out anytime in like a month or two with more details on matchups, pathing, and a lot of other things. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. What matchups do you guys struggle with? What do you guys find easy or hard? And let me know if you guys like this tier list. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.